Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to properly and 100% accurately use 3D tracking and how to add any 3D model in your videos, also I will show you how to create realistic shadows of a 3D objects. Note, this After Effects is 2025 version and it has 3D features that older versions don't have and you won't be able to add 3D shadows if you use 2024 After Effects. In case if you use older than 2024, you may also have issues with the 3D models. Make sure to update your After Effects to have full access to a new features. And now let's begin. To get free or paid 3D models, you can go to this website and find any model you want to use in your video. I have already downloaded one, I will use a Christmas tree 3D model. Once you'll drop your 3D model into AE, make sure to click on make comp size, otherwise your 3D model will be too large. For example my composition size is 1080p and the model I have downloaded was at 8k resolution. So make sure to click on make comp size and it will resize that model for you. Let's toggle off 3D model for a while and then select our clip and let's click on track camera. Once the analyzing is done, I will select some points on the ground, then right click and here is the import thing you should select. Make sure to select set ground plane and origin, and now let me explain what it does. By selecting that, you tell After Effects that you are going to track something right at that place and you want to create tracking camera right there and After Effects will create a tracking point there for you. And whenever you will enable 3D on a 3D model or any layer you want to track, the 3D layer will be positioned right there and you won't need to correct Z position until it will be correct or tracked accurately. So now we can feel free and right click again and select create solid and camera. Now let's toggle on 3D model and as you see my 3D model is positioned right there, so I just need to move it up and place it properly and I'm done with tracking. But first I will move my 3D model above track solid layer and then let's scale it a bit. Now I will move it up and make sure my Christmas tree is above that track solid. Let's quickly check if it's tracked perfectly. Nice, I'm happy with the tracking. Now I will enable shadows to make it more realistic. Let's expand track solid layer settings, then expand material options and change accept shadows to only. We can close track solid settings and then create new light layer. Change light type to environment and hit OK. Let's enable cast shadows now and as you see we already have a shadow on the tree, but it looks all messed up. Sometimes shadows are not visible after that steps, don't panic and let me show you how to fix it. Under your preview, click on advanced 3D here and then click on renderer options. In this tiny window make sure to click on fit to scene and then hit OK. This will bring your shadows immediately. Now let's correct the shadow, under the environment light layer expand transform and here we can play around with X and Y rotations to change shadows direction. But here as you see we have another issue. The the shadow is messed up and let me show you how to fix it as well. Select your track solid layer and then simply make it large like this. That's it, now let's continue correcting direction of a shadow. In my case the sun hits from the left side and I will rotate the shadow to the right like that. In case if your 3D model is too dark or bright, feel free to play around with the intensity until it will look better and fit your scene perfectly. You can also make your shadows darker or brighter by changing shadow darkness. I think it looks fine in my case. Let's check how it looks like and then I will show you how to increase or decrease the quality of the 3D model and a shadow. Everything looks clean and smooth to me. I will make shadow a bit darker and I think it will look better. Make sure to take your time and play around with the settings to achieve the best look. Now let me show you how to increase or decrease the quality of the 3D model and a shadow. Click on Advanced 3D and then Renderer Options. If you have a really good PC, feel free to increase render quality, but in my case 10 is enough and it makes my GPU to cry hard. Also make sure resolution is set to full, in case if your PC can handle double, select double for better results. Also play around with the smoothness, but 3 or 5 is enough. Let's hit OK and we are ready to render the video. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.